Alright, what's up guys? Welcome back for the video. And first off, happy New Year's everybody. Hope you guys had a good New Year's coming in. You didn't get too drunk and too crazy and you didn't get arrested. So hopefully that didn't happen. Anyway, um I was supposed to record yesterday for New Year's, but didn't get to it. I was laying in the bed almost all day. Then I got up and I started streaming on Twitch, which I am on Twitch. You guys can follow me on Twitch. Uh, I will put the description. I will put my link in the description. I will put on the screen somewhere around here. Um, my my name is still so you follow me on Twitch because I'm almost to Twitch affiliate. So yeah, enough talking. Man, we'll get right to the video. We got the best Larry Bird Alpha Male rookie story ever told. And we're gonna get right to the video. Let's go. NBA tradition says rookies must carry all Damn. bags on road trips. That's crazy. But a rookie Larry Bird on his very first road trip with the Boston Celtics stood up in front of every veteran on the bus and said, I want you guys to know I'm never going to get you any water and I'm never going to carry one bag ever. <laughs> And he never did. I let Bird that playing that shit. That year, when he was confronted by an old Hall of Famer, Pete Maravich, Larry Bird said something so disrespectful, uh -oh. it sent Pete into retirement. This is the story of how a... So did he really say something to make him retire? And it had to sound real crazy. Hopefully he'll explain it in the video. Larry Bird established himself as the alpha male and hey. dominated the NBA from day one. When I walk in the first day of camp, them guys were on the floor stretching, and here comes the white savior, here comes this, here comes that. I sort of enjoyed it, because I, <laughs> I was going to battle them all day. Cedric Maxwell, the Celtics' leading scorer the year before Larry arrived, had a rude awakening. He was skeptical that the self-proclaimed hick from French Lick was all hype. Until that first day in training camp, and all it took was one day. I'm one thinking day. how he's slow, he can't get off a shot. I've seen his store. He's not that strong. This is gonna be a layup. Bam. Knocks down a jump shot. Okay. Maybe that was luck. Maybe that was luck. the ball again. Bam. Knocks down another jump shot. Now I'm thinking like, okay, hey. You know what? I'm gonna D this guy up. I'm gonna show him his life. 20 feet away. Bam. 25 feet away. Bam. <laughs> I, my mind just goes to that. Damn, this white guy can play. <laughs> the Celtics were the second worst team in the league before Larry Bird arrived. Second worst? Only 29 games. But even as a rookie, Larry Bird led that exact same Celtics team to a 61 and 21 record. That's crazy. That 32 game turnaround was the greatest single season turnaround in NBA history. And what's most impressive is he did it with no Robert Parrish, no Kevin McHale, no Dennis Johnson, Bill Walton, or anyone. It was all Larry Bird. But how did Larry get so confident and so arrogant? It wasn't all Larry Bird. Now, now he, he played a big part in it, but it wasn't just Larry Bird. Okay, now you, you kind of stretch it a little bit. Because at every level, he proved the doubters wrong. In college, he took a mid-major, Indiana State, to 33-0 and before facing what turned out to be his greatest rival, Magic Johnson, in the NCAA title game. But here's how Magic recalls first meeting Larry the summer before that game. The summer before, they had the WIT tournament. Okay. And they brought all the best college players together. Okay. To play against the world. Okay. And man, <clears throat> I see this guy, you know, blonde hair. You know. <laughs> 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 all right, let me see if he can play. Okay. Man, I'm sitting there watching him shoot Shannon. He must have made 30 in a row all net. I so said, he was Steph Curry before Steph yeah, Wade. Yeah, yeah, Steph. yeah, yeah. And I'm sitting up saying, this dude can play. Okay. And then we got in the game. Jack Gibbons was player of the year that year. Right. He tore him up, man. Man, Larry Bird was taking it to him. <laughs> I said, oh, man. I'm calling back home saying, oh, he for real. He for real. This right. dude Larry Bird? Right. Oh, he got it. He right. can play. He's dominating Jack right. Gibbons. And they said, no way. I said, oh, yeah, he's dominant. I think our first game was in Kentucky. 
we got about a 10, 12 point lead. And they put us in, went to 25, 30, just that fast. <laughs> Fast break again, three on two. Ooh. Hey. By Larry Bird. Take us out. The lead go back down. Put us back in. That's Bird. And lead go back up. When you play with Magic, there's just something about it. You want to make that extra pass. You want to get that rebound and start to break. We came down a couple times. I go behind my back, no look to him. He no look back to me. <laughs> I'm it up. I'm still, oh, man. <laughs> That's crazy. This guy got game. Little did Magic know that he would meet Larry Bird again, but this time it would be in the national. So if this was game. college. Here we go. This going crazy later, like that, right? <clears throat> NCAA championship game. He's player of the year. Sports Illustrated, all the magazines got he on the cover, right? And I said, wow. And they're 33 and 0. 33 and 0. Man, Damn. I said, oh. And they hadn't been ranked since. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> they weren't ranked before. Yes, that's right. Damn. It is Indiana State against Michigan State. I'm Brian Gumbo and the fans here. Brian Gumbo. That 1979 NCAA title matchup between Larry Bird and Magic Johnson is still the highest rated basketball game ever played. Damn, Unfortunately crazy. for Larry Bird, it was one of his worst. Yeah. Because Michigan State double teamed him all night long. And since Larry yeah, was a one man show, Indiana State had no answer. Double and they gave Larry Bird fits, boy. Miss a free throw. Has had a cold shooting night. They have a rattle. Oh, damn. Hey, damn. Magic, not only were you a leader on offense, I thought you did a great job on Larry Bird in the zone denying him the ball. Yes, uh, coach, uh, gave us a good game plan to go against Larry Bird and all we had to do was go out and do it. That's what hmm. we done. Congratulations. They just go out and do it. You know, it still hurts. And when you win 33 in a row and you walk into a game, you know, you never know what to expect. But I expect to win. We didn't win. Oh, they crying. Bird said this was his most painful loss ever. And when he got to the NBA, he took that pain out on the entire league. And he did. Not only did he oh, play shit. with a level of toughness that the NBA had never Damn. seen before, but Larry Bird's trash-talking stories are that of legend. Even Larry's own teammates could face his wrath. Not many younger people know this, but Hall of Famer Pete Maravich who holds nearly every major NCAA scoring record, including highest scoring average, the hell was it? Point two points per game, was actually team. It's a forty-two point four points a game. Larry's rookie year. However, Larry couldn't care less about Pete's NCAA accolades because when these two butted heads, Larry got so disrespectful. Just a few well, so well, ahead of his time. I think was probably Pete Maravich and Larry Bird. Uh, Pete Maravich is passed the ball to Larry. Pete's man goes down and double teams Larry. Larry puts up a, a tough shot, and timeout's called. And um, we come to timeout, and, and Pete Maravich looks over, and Larry says, Larry, Larry, they're double teaming you, man. You can't force up those kind of shots. And Larry looks up and goes, if you were any damn good, they wouldn't be double teaming me. This is one <laughs> Hall of Fame. Damn. Though, I was in shock. Oh, man. That's crazy. Pete Maravich retired at the end of that year. While Larry well, he kind of had to. He think he had bad knees. Team. Here comes the rookie out of Indiana. That's crazy, he man. Lived up to his expectations. Larry Bird. If you were any good, they would be double teaming me. He put on a man. clinic. Dantley gave it back, and Kermit Washington and Bird. Kermit Washington. Ooh.
take the pass back up the middle, make that pass. That pass is crazy. Right with it, when they're right in there. To, to rebounding, besides strength, is quickness. Oh. Good lateral movement. The pass. Time out. In overtime of the All Star game that year, Larry Bird took over on national TV by draining two corner shots back to back to take the lead. He ignited his reputation as one of the most clutch players in NBA history. Yeah, he was clutch. Hey, he, he didn't want to guard him? Damn. Same spot. After that, he pulled off the play of the game and one of the greatest passes in his career. 42 136, three point try by Sigma is off. And Bird comes out of the move. Dishes to Malone. Malone comes up. Stayed with it, Sigma. Ooh. You don't see a lot of players doing that back in the day. You don't see a lot of players doing that now. Tip pass. That year, Bird <coughs> finished fourth in MVP voting, won Rookie of the Year, and pissed off his arch nemesis Magic Johnson. <laughs> pissed him which off. Which ended up being the greatest individual rivalry in sports history. We ended up in the two most famous, you know, franchises. Right. The Celtics and the Lakers. And then it's crazy how they ended up. My personality was Boston. My personality was Hollywood. Right, right. So, right, so right. I mean, they couldn't have scripted this any better. No. Mm -mm. He was rookie of the year. I think you got like one or two votes. That's all. That's all you got. I, like, I think it was like 32, 33 no, to no, like one or two. No, even le more than that. It was 60 something to like two. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I hate to say that too. I got to say that on TV. <laughs> and so I was pissed, man. I was mad. You like, hold on. Became the first rookie in NBA history to be named Finals MVP. Yeah. I was only the third dude ever in NBA history to go from the college championship yeah. to the NBA Finals championship. Right. And I, I get like three votes. <laughs> and they were two LA dudes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm like, okay, he's not that much better than me. Right. Not 63 to two. Right. But okay, I took it. I took it. And I'm glad. That we came in together because I had somebody to measure myself to. Right. Yeah. And say, hey, okay, he's great. I can't let him get, get too, too far, far ahead of me. I got to work hard because I want to stay in. How, how would you? How would you? Now put some respect on Larry Bird's name. Hey, Paul. Man, so. Yeah, Larry Bird. He came into the league going crazy. Man, come on with the pass, man. He came into the league going crazy. Anyway, I ain't gonna keep this video too much longer because it's already at 50 minutes right now. So, yeah, I'm gonna get out of here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what y'all think about it. Comment down any kind of suggestions. And make sure you guys follow me on Twitch. <clears throat> y'all see it on the screen. I will be in the description too. So, make sure you follow me on there so I can try to get Twitch affiliates so I can have another stream of income. Yeah, so yeah, it's boy King Smooth. I'm out.